What is with anime today? What is with all the cliffhangers? Out of all the anime I have seen today, SAO, all the Noah Zero, and now Captain Earth, why are they ending in a colossal cliffhanger? And they are literally slapping me. That is exactly what is going on today. You don't give me this many cliffhangers in one freaking day. You don't. It's going to kill me. Seriously. <sighs> So, you're telling me that Daichi has went back in time, or he's in a coma or something? Because, at the end of this episode, Daichi wakes up out of his bed, and I think that's his father, if I'm correct, that he was looking at, and nothing's wrong, like, something's amiss. For instance, it's like, you know, he isn't Captain Earth, for instance. So, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on at the end? I mean, is he in, like, a dream, a coma sequence, since, you know, technically, he did a hyperspace dimensional jump? To Oberon? I mean, is that what's going on? For instance, he's has his mind all jambled up and jangled or whatever words you want to call it. Pretty much, episode was very good. It had a lot of tension building once again. And honestly, I like the overall conclusion of this episode. How it built up to the, the hyperspace jump. For instance, when you have, you know, Hana said, Oh, I can't stop myself. And you see her just going to plunge right into Garm. I was like, oh my god. It was just, it was a really awesome and intense episode. It really was. Now, I can definitely feel the ending getting closer and closer of Captain Earth. Honestly, the series had a very meh middle, I want to be honest. But as the series progresses on, I'm really, really enjoying Captain Earth. I'm going to be honest here. I am actually enjoying this series. This was a good episode, and I love the animation. One thing, though, I really loved about this episode was the way they used the music with, the, like, the hyperspace. When you see, like, the entire area of space change while you saw the bloom about to go into a jump, I love the animation that scene, especially with the music, you know, helping it out. It just it was so beautiful. But what is going to happen? What is going to happen next week? Because that is something I am curious to find out because I actually watched the preview to next week's episode, and from what I could see is Daichi's just walking around in town like nothing's going on, like he's not a part of Midsummer Knots or anything, so what happened? Is he in another dimension? Did he go back in time? I mean, what the hell? It just, we'll have to see. I will have to see next episode, but I mean, th this episode leaves so many questions and it makes you wonder, like, what can possibly happen next? One thing I did like about this episode was the entire bit when you saw the robots, those little circle robots, the impactors, I think that's what they're called, you know, coming after Daichi. You see Daichi fighting them in space. That was really cool, and I liked the way that looked. One thing Captain Earth does have, and it's definitely the animation. The animation looks so good in each individual episode. But overall, if I had to say, this episode had a lot of entertainment value from start to end, and... I can't wait for next week, I really can't, because that cliffhanger's got me pumped. It really has me pumped right now, and I can just feel the ending getting closer and closer. Hopefully, a character doesn't die, because, I mean, here's the thing. As you all know, I've been talking about death flags and all sorts of stuff going down a lot. And the thing is, is once again, there technically is another death flag in this episode. No freaking joke, they have another death flag in this episode. And it's not to Tepe this time, it's not. It's to Hana and Daichi. Now, it's kind of obvious how Daichi would die. I mean, Daichi is the only person that technically can get Hana out of the bloom, okay? And technically, it's kind of foreshadowing since, you know, Daichi's father died to save the Earth. Wouldn't Daichi do the exact same thing? I mean, the opening song, you see Daichi and you see, you know, his father side by side right in the opening song. So it makes you think, like, maybe there might be a very good foreshadowing right there. Like, you know, Daichi's father dying could be foreshadowing to what's going to happen to Daichi. I don't know. Tell me your thoughts about this episode, everybody. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite moments about it? And personally, do you feel like, you know, Daichi has entered into another dimension? Do you feel like his mind is all in jambles? Do you feel like, you know, he just might be in a coma? Just let me know in the comments below. I'm curious what you all think. I love all of you so much. You have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.